What's up, guys? This is Matt from America Patriot News, and I'm with Romeo. And today we have a video and a article, and it's talking about a lawsuit that's going against Joe Biden when it comes to his pay for slay, which is a different uh, way of saying it uh, that I've heard. But it has to do with uh, him actually giving the uh, Palestinians money before this happened in Israel. Cool. Let's check it out. Yeah. Uh, we got the video first. We'll go ahead and play that. ...of the party and his own history on Iran, kind of part of the story, isn't it? Unfortunately, it is. And like you, I welcomed the president's strong words of support for our great ally, Israel. Uh, unfortunately, as you say, the track record just isn't there to match the rhetoric. And we have seen, I mean, first of all, just after the attacks happened on Saturday, we basically didn't see the president all day Sunday and all day Monday. They had a nice party at the White House and everybody took Monday off for the long weekend. That's nice. But guess who didn't take the Monday off? The terrorists who are holding Americans hostage and the Israelis who are trying to punish them. America needed to be on the job. Then he was an hour late, an hour plus late giving his remarks today. This is just, it's just sad. And then the most important thing is that since he's been in office, they've poured more than a billion dollars into the Palestinians and their attendant, uh, attendant organizations like the United Nations to, to fund them. And, and this is where that money is going. And then we can talk about the money going to Iran as well. That's what he's overseen, and that's what paid for this attack. Now, just so everyone understands, in September, so last month, the Biden administration had our military train 5,000 PLA members. We also gave them a bunch of equipment, including up-armored Humvees and who knows what else, okay? We gave them deadly weaponry, and this all kicks off a month later. I mean, come on. One and one equals two. The other thing I want to mention also, the UN and the United States was given the money to uh, create water sources, and so they uh, don't have to rely on Israel for water. Well, guess what they did with a lot of the uh, stuff, they, uh, the uh, materials they got for uh, to make uh, pipes and stuff like that. Spend uh, the money on crack for Hunter? No. Oh. They used it to make uh, explosives, weapons, uh, also missiles, stuff like that. That's what they use that money for. That's what they use a lot of the uh, materials that were supposed to be used to uh, for pipes and things like that. So a lot of this stuff uh, that's going on uh, between Israel and Palestine has been funded by the United States and the UN. Yeah, it's it's like a an, an American inflict self-inflicted wound, except for we're not just shooting ourselves, but the Israelis. It, it, it's just mind bogglingly retarded I, I i matt the white house right now as it stands i'd like to just frame it as retard art <laughs> all right guys we got this uh article we're, uh, we're going to take a look at now lawsuit proceeds alleging biden administration violated law by funding palestine amid play to pay play to slay terror a federal lawsuit is proceeding in Texas claiming that the Biden administration knowingly violated U.S. law by providing funding to the Palestinian Authority, even as the government body still operated its pay-to-slay program. Federal Judge Matthew Kazmark on Tuesday or evening ordered the lawsuit, ordered for the lawsuit filed by America First Legal in 2022 to enter the discovery phase. Uh, a pretrial process that parties use to gather information. The lawsuit stated that President Joe Biden and Secretary of State Anthony Blinken continued paying the Palestinian Authority after former President Donald Trump ended the practice with the Taylor Force Act, a law named after West Point graduate Taylor, Taylor Force, who was murdered by a terrorist in Tel Aviv. The law prohibits the federal government from giving U.S. taxpayer dollars to Palestinian Authority until it stops supporting terrorism. But in 2021, the State Department approved plans to give $250 million in U.S. taxpayer dollars to the Palestinian people. The Palestinian Authority operates a, quote, martyrs fund, dubbed by the critics as a pay-to-slay program. 
It gives cash stipends to the families of Palestinians who were killed or incarcerated after attempting to perpetrate a terrorist attack against Israel. Under pay to slay, the Palestinian Authority rewards terrorists and or their families with increased rewards in proportion to the casualties inflicted. Terrorists who are married or have children or are Israeli resident citizens receive an additional payment. Terrorists who spend more than five years in a single term or cumulatively in prison are paid guaranteed salary by the Palestinian Authority for the rest of their lives, the lawsuit states. Yeah, that is absolutely sickening. It's like, Matt, if you want more of something, give it a stipend. If you want less, tax it. They have just given a, it said 250 million, but I'm hearing it's up to a billion dollar stipend to people whose sole purpose politically is to kill Jews. Yeah. What did we expect was going to happen? And, you know, he reversed Trump again. Another example of Trump was right. Good point. <laughs> Another it's example. Exactly. You know, and, and unfortunately, the Biden administration and these people in D.C. haven't fucking figured out Trump was right about almost everything. Yep. Almost everything. the mainstream media who keep parroting this inept and retarded administration's talking points while the world, certain parts of the world, burn down around it because of their careless policies. Now, the only reason I say almost everything is because we're still waiting on a few other things to actually prove him right about that as well. The thing is, it's more reason that you're seeing the Democrats are leaving Joe Biden and the Democrat Party and going to go vote for Trump because they live better when Trump was in office. This is what it has to do with. It has to do with the pocketbook. It doesn't have anything to do with uh, when it comes to political beliefs. It has to do with how they were living before and after. And that's the reason Trump is going to win the presidency and become the 47th president. I absolutely agree. Yeah. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. We'll be live tomorrow morning at 930 Central Standard. We have a very cool show planned for you. Please join us and have a wonderful rest of your day.